I guess you're doing fine this morning. Okay, I've got this question where we need to find the first term and the common ratio. We've been given the second term, which is 21, and the fourth term, which is a, or 189. They have also said this is geometric progression. So the sequence that we are dealing with, or the progression that we are dealing with, is a, a geometric progression. So how do we find A and R? Okay, so let, let me just show you very simple way on how you can find it. Please, I advise you to follow the video slowly up to the end. You will definitely understand what you need to get. That's why you are here. So let's jump on it. Um, without wasting our time, since they have said it's GP, geometric progression, to find the term, the formula we use, it's a T subscript N is equal to A R power N minus C, A1. This is the formula we need to depend on. So once we get this formula, we are going to, to, to start with the second term. We know that at position 2, second, there is this number, 21. Meaning, we are going to write 21, let me write it here, 21 is equal to, okay? 21 is equal to where there is the T subscript N, put a 21, is equal to A R power 2 minus 1. Where there is N, write these two guys, okay? So that's the first step. We just simplify this. So when we simplify it, it will be 21 is equal to A R. Because uh, because 2 minus, uh, minus 1, it will just give us a 1. So it will be power 1. Even if we just write it this way, it will just be okay. So we shall call this as our equation 1. We've got equation 1 here. We form another equation. This equation 1 is coming from this. Equation 2 will come from uh, this. We shall say 189. We write it here like we did with this one. Is equal to a r power power 4 minus 1. We also do the same. We simplify. So this is how it will look like. And we shall call this as our equation 2. So these are the steps that you need to perform. Form two equations. That is when you are given two values or two terms. You, 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 for you to find A and R, you form two equations like I've done here. And then solve these two, two equations simultaneously. Okay. So how do you solve them simultaneously? Let me copy the equations. I write them here. So that we solve these equations. I hope you've understood, you've gotten the concept on how to form these two equations. Depend on the actual equation for finding the term and then form these two equations. Thereafter, you say, I'm just copying. I'm not doing any calculation here. I'm just copying because I'm running out of space. So it will be 21 is equal to A R, and this is our equation 1. The next equation is 189 is equal to a r power power 3. This is equation 2. I've just copied those two equations, this and this. So here, look at the question. They want to find, yeah? they want us to find a and r. We've got a r, a r power 3. So between the two equations, which, which one do you think would be easier to work with or to start working with? This one. Because the highest power here is 1, here it's power 3. So I'll go with it. this one, where I'll say, okay, n of my letters, either A or R, I'll divide it through. So in this case, I'll divide, sorry, it's just R, divide by R. So this R and the R will go, I shall remain with A, 21 over R. In other ways, I'm just making A subject of the formula. So when you make a subject of the formula, you go to the other equation. Let me show you nicely using the arrow. You substitute here where there is A. Write this. Because we want to have arrows this side, one side of the equation. Go to one of the equations. So this will be 189 is equal to 21 over R, R power 3. So this is how it looks. Now from this stage... We can, of course, divide. We know that 
r into r it's 1 into r power 3 it's r power 2 so in case you don't know how to divide these using the laws of indices when you've got the same basis we know that on top there is power 3 down here there is just r power 1 so when dividing you just write r and then you subtract the powers power 3 minus 1 it will give us r power 2 these are the laws of indices so when you apply the laws of indices there dividing these two letters r and and um, the r power 3 you get r power 2 so this would simply be 189 is equal to 21 r power 2 divide by 20, 21 because we are solving for r so this and this will go 21 into 21 it's 1 into 189 it will give us a 9 so we've got 9 hopefully somebody can see we've got 9 is equal to r power 2 square root both sides so this will give us two solutions when we square root both sides so the power 2 will go we shall remain with r is equal to this r from here r is equal to positive or negative 3 so we can say our r will be a 3 or negative 3 okay so now it will depend in the question if they want all of them. If they said the positive R, just go with one of them. So let's assume they have said a positive R. We get positive R. What will be our A, the value of A? Since we found R here, you can see R is a 3. We wanted the positive value. If they wanted the positive value, what will be the value of A? For the value of A, there is no need of uh, us doing much of the calculations. Here, we'll just get whatever we have. If it's positive, we come right over here. Can you see this point? There is R down here. You just say 21 over a 3 because we know that R is a 3. It's equal to A. So this 3 into 3, 1 into 21, it will give us a, a 7. So meaning our A is a, a 7. Our R is a, a 3. So these are the two values. If, if they said your R must be a negative, so R is equal to negative 3, then your A will be equal to negative 7, just like this. Hopefully you have gotten one or two things out of this video. Please, I ask you to share the video. Leave a comment. This has been Sichamba Jacob. And bye-bye.